New information on a story we first brought you last week. A local police officer is recovering after a brush with death. Yeah, he's recovering after nearly a month in the hospital. And a story you'll see only here on Local 12. Genesis Snarrow shares his story. She also spoke with the officer who helped save his life. Behind every strong law enforcement officer, there's an even stronger family. You know, I just never, ever thought that I was in a, a life or death situation. About a month ago, Norwood Lieutenant Ron Murphy was in Fayetteville to deliver a check to their police department to help support a Fayetteville officer in the ICU battling COVID-19. Driving home, Lieutenant Murphy called his wife to say he was pulling over because he didn't feel well. So when I pulled over to call her, I couldn't even talk to her because I was so nauseous. I just told her I'd called her back. And His wife, Karen, didn't know where he was and called the Norwood police chief for help. From there, Chief Chad Essert with Fayetteville received a call about Lieutenant Murphy. Was I went ahead and uh, headed out that way to see if I couldn't at least find his vehicle pulled to the side of the road. Essert found Murphy and waited until Norwood's police chief and Murphy's wife arrived. I did just what... I would want anybody to do and you know what i know of lieutenant murphy he'd have done the same thing for me or anyone really murphy was later taken to the emergency room only to find out he was suffering from a life-threatening brain aneurysm nearly a month spent in and out of the hospital murphy says he's grateful to see another day yes yes i mean uh, i've got three kids so and also grateful for the man who didn't leave his side, who he says helped save his life. And I just can't wait to see him and just thank him again because I told him he didn't have to worry about me. Uh, and he's much smarter than me. I'm just thankful. Reporting in Norwood, Genesis Neros, Local 12 News. Lieutenant Murphy hoping to return to work soon, just on light duty though for the time being. If you would like to help, he's encouraging people to donate to The Shield. That's an organization that provides emergency funds and resources to the families of officers in Southwest Ohio who are critically injured or killed in the line of duty. We have a link to donate to that group at local12.com. From local